The Heir Apparent is a play by David Ives. It's a French comedy from 1708 that David Ives updated and translated and adapted uh, with his own uh, sense of wit and humor. Woo wee, that's funky! Stinks like the backside of a rhesus monkey. <laughs> the play is set in the house of Geraint, who's the wealthy miser, and his nephew, Erast, needs to get Geraint to name him his sole heir so that he can marry the woman who he loves. And in order to do that, he enlists the help of his valet, Crispin, and of Geraint's maid, Lisette, and the three of them uh, work together to come up with a scheme or a series of schemes to get Geraint to name Erast his sole heir. For this day is the feast of Saint Crispin, once more unto the breach. I have a plan. Uh, David Ives is so witty, he's so smart, he's so funny, and he manages to take this play, which is written in rhymed couplets, uh, and make the, the rhyme feel very natural, um, and keep it set in the period, but also bring in this, this modern comic sensibility that makes it really resonate today. Would you like to know how deep's his greed? To save on writing up this crucial deed, he hired a lawyer no taller than a creeper, as if because he's short, he might come cheaper. <laughs> the humor in this play is very silly. It's kind of ridiculous in a wonderful, delightful, clever sort of way. Um, but at the same time, the language is so crisp and so sharp and so smart that it's an intellectual treat as well as being just a, an opportunity for gut-busting laughter. Do you know what I'm worth? A million, 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 a million, a million, a million, a million. A million. A million. A million. A million.